Oh, oh, that's fall. That's fall. What's going on, guys? Musky Fishing Tuesdays. I'm out here. My buddy Brady. Ace and I were here a couple weeks ago. Did not see any fish. I did catch a walleye and Ace caught a smallmouth. But we're out here looking for some giant fall musky. Water temperature's 48 and a half. You said you were out Saturday? Saturday when I caught mine and it was 48.5, so it's perfect. Glider? DJ Custom. DJ Custom. So we're gonna be throwing some DJ Custom gliders. I have a Mark King glider on. Gonna try some rubbers out today. Hopefully just find some fish. Beautiful morning. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the sun behind the clouds and the mountains in the background looks gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah, it's phenomenal out here. Let's go catch some fish, man. Let's go. Got a Tranks, 300. It's a high speed gear ratio. I think it's seven one to one, something like that. Seven something to one. It's quick. It's got the power handle. Never used this before. We'll see how she goes. Oh, I also didn't set this reel up at all, but that's oh, fine. I've never, I don't even know what a shallow invader is actually. You got one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually, I've seen those. Uh, Dennis has a couple of those, I think. Oh, oh, gotta fall. Gotta fall. He's right there. Do you see him? See oh, you him. can't see him. He, no, I just had to follow the. Awesome. Hang on, let me see if he's still around. He was super lazy. He was actually just sitting next to it, really. Good sign. That is a great sign. I love getting follows. Fish. Got him on? Peace. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep going. I wonder if that was the same one. Probably low 30s. Oh. Keep going. Thought I just saw him flash under you. Oh. Oh, it's a walleye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, sorry. Dude, that's a nice walleye. That is a nice walleye. Maybe that's what we had. Maybe I had a walleye following mine. I thought it looked like a walleye too, because I was like, man, it's kind of small. Let's see if we can get a musky to come up and eat him. Come on, that's buddy. That's a beautiful walleye, dude. It is. All right. So I just caught a, what do you think that's, 19-inch? 19, 20-inch 19, walleye. 19, 20-inch walleye. And Brady's like, Dude, you, you gotta, you gotta eat it. He's got a really good recipe, so he's gonna fillet this fish for me later, show me how to do it, and then give me the recipe how to cook it. So if you guys stick around to the end of this video, we're gonna do a catch and cook with this walleye I just caught. Look at that fish. Look They're at them cool. teeth. Yeah. Beautiful walleye. Don't lip them pop. So we're gonna <laughs> hold on, we're gonna hold on to that walleye, and we're gonna get back to musky fishing, but we've had a couple, what we think were follows. I think it might have been walleye now. The first fish that I had follow up, I honestly think it was a musky. One was definitely a musky. One of them was most likely a musky on this stretch here, but good action to start the day off. We're gonna hold on to that fish. Do a little catch and cook later. These walleye here are not afraid of gigantic freaking gliders. No doubt, dude. Like that that is a big bait for walleye. I would I would assume so. Yeah. Do you figure eight your gliders? Uh not always. Okay. But I, I always at least kind of pull them and then let them pause for a second, right? Yeah. So I try to. So, I, I've just heard so many different things from so many different people. Yeah. This is what I've been doing a lot lately, is just giving it this next to the boat yep. kill, like dead presentation, right, right, right when it gets there, just let it fall a little bit. Give it yeah, a real I, aggressive jerk, let it fall. I like to do that. Something. If you don't see anything, then just bring it in. Yeah. All right, we're gonna make a run up. We did a pretty good drift here. But we're gonna run toward the dam. We made it up pretty far, about halfway as far as we wanted to go. Didn't realize it's actually that long of a distance, but we got a lot of good water. What are we gonna do up in this section, dude? What are we throwing? Start sticking with DJs? I'm sticking with the DJ for a while. It's seen better days. It's a little beat up, but that's a good thing. Still catches fish. Fish are gonna like that. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Oh. Inhale, dude. You're good, you're good. Oh. 
No, dude, that was a giant. Hey, fish. Still happy to see that. That's yes, dude. Sir. How big was that? That that was mid 40. That was a very big fish. Oh my god, I was freaking out. It, yep, just like you said, came out of the eddy. Let's just come back. Dang! All right, unfortunately just missed the first muskie of the day. And it was a really, really big fish. Brady had him on for a second. I was trying to reel in my bait as quickly as possible to get the net, freaking out. And it just popped loose. It happens, nothing you could have done. On the shallow invader from Muskie Innovations. Yep. So sick. That fish's head was gigantic. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to see the footage. Me too, I really hope I got it on the GoPro for you guys. That was sick, but we're gonna keep hammering down this bank. It was right, probably 20 yards down in an eddy on a rock wall. So we got plenty more of that, as you can see, and definitely some more of these little points that are coming out. We're gonna focus on these areas and hopefully get another one. That, I'm shaking. I didn't even hook into the fish. I just saw it and I'm like, oh my God. That was sick. DJ Customs. Oh. Oh, 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 big follow. On mine? No, on mine. On okay. mine. Deep, too. It was, it rubbed against it, man. Oh, wow. Holy hell. It was big. Right in the eddy. Right in the eddy. Dude, that fish came up to its side. I saw its head for a split second, and then I just saw its pectoral fin just, like, rub up against the bait. And it looked massive. Had another bit of action there. It was on the, let me see if I can get some light on her. DJ Custom Baits, Cineus Glider, Rainbow Trout Pattern. Love this pattern. This paint job is ridiculous. It was a really deep follow. I mean, the fish was right on the bait and then I saw him turn off. I don't know if it saw the boat or not. All right guys, get ready. It's been announced. Fish is being caught in the next few casts. Oh yeah, right out of that tree. I mean, why wouldn't there be one right yeah, freaking there? Yeah, why would there? Oh, 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 come on. Did you see one? Yeah, one just came up flashed on it right when I said that. That was crazy. He ran right back in there, though. Right back into that? D yeah, did not hook it. Went right this way. Oh, man, that was cool. Three follows, one hookup. Oh, I just got bumped. Did you? I'm almost 100% sure something just whacked at it because I set the hook pretty hard. I felt it on the slack line too. Do it. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh my God, it's another walleye. <laughs> uh, I'm a, on a rubber? On a big rubber. Dude, I'm just, I'm a, a, I'm a walleye slayer today. All right, get in here, baby. Oh. That's another good one. Yeah, I'd say. We're doing a walleye catch and cook today. Might as well make it a, a full meal. I'd invite you over if you didn't live six hours away. How many times have you guys caught walleye on Medusas and big giant glide baits? I'd like to know. Please leave me a comment down below. We're gonna have a good old walleye catch and cook. It's the second really good eating sized walleye on a musky bait, and that one came on the Medusa. It's funny too, because I had a follow, and then what I'm assuming was a musky, it looked pretty decent sized. And then maybe two or three casts later, I had a bite, and I felt the braid just tick. And then the very next cast, I caught him. So, it's just the way the day's going. We still got plenty of time though. We're gonna jump across, fish another side of the river that we haven't fished yet, and Brady's taking care of uh, my dinner back there. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> He's the man. He's gonna get me on my uh, first fish. I've had fish maybe like once or twice. This is gonna be legit. All right, I'm on the shallow invader. Brady's throwing the DJ custom glide. We are coming into the major in about 30 minutes, or sorry, the minor. Let's see what happens. I've actually never thrown one of these baits. Check it out though, it looks pretty cool. Actually. If you're a bass fisherman, you might know what the DRT 
clash is. Very similar concept. Great looking bait though. And I mean the action on it is pretty big. It has like a really, really wide wobble. Check this out. Looks good. We're gonna make one more pass. See if we can't get one of these musky in the boat. Think it's gonna happen? Oh, it's happening. It it's, has to happen. It's gonna happen. We've fished a long ways. I haven't had much action in the last couple hours. The morning was pretty good. We had a lot of stuff going on. We're back up at the ramp. Again, gonna make one last drift. Then we're gonna go fillet some wallies. Oh, look at all that up there. I can't tell if there's like a massive. I know, I'm gonna find out. Go for it. Send it for the fish. Not my lure, and I'm still gonna send it. I do too. <laughs> oh, fish, fish, fish. <laughs> what? Take your time, you're good, I got it. There we go, that's what we've been looking for right there in the bag. <laughs> yes! Awesome. Dude, how did you, oh, smoked it. What's up? No, it, well, it was coming through the leaves and I was just working yeah. it. Awesome. Yes. All right. Just caught the first muskie of the day after a really long, battling, grueling day with wallies and just <laughs> tough, toughness. But literally, last trip of the day. All worth it. All worth it. And that fish just inhaled that shallow invader. Their money. I'm going to get this fish unhooked, get a quick picture, and get her back in the water. Here we go. Beautiful little muskie, man. Beautiful muskie to make the day. Thanks to Brady for letting me throw that shallow invader. Check that fish out. Caught some walleye, missed a big old muskie, and then caught this baby right here. Beautiful fish, I'm gonna let her go. Go live another day. Oh. She's already ready to go. Look yeah. There she See you, babe. Thank you for the fun. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the muskie I just caught. It circled around and then landed relaxing. Landed right up in the tree. Oh, that, that's the hook rash. And the rest is all teeth marks. Busted up. This whole tail is nothing but super glue. <laughs> the whole thing. That's crazy. So that's the same bait that I caught the fish on today. Just a different pattern. And that Brady missed the fish on today. And he, I mean, obviously they do work. That Look how beat up this one is. It's I mean, just demolished. There's nothing left of it. It's a solid rock of super glue. It really is actually, <laughs> now that you say that. That's insane. And those are all teeth marks. Awesome. I'm gonna have to get a couple of those. So uh, shout out to Musky Innovations on the sick bait. We decided to call it a day. Trolling motor battery died and the current and where we were, actually we hadn't been down that far and it was getting super shallow fast current and it was just a little sketchy so we just said you know what ended on a good note take care of these walleye we'll come back to the ramp did you have a knife by any chance i haven't checked yet but All i right, will let's see what we got a deer antler knife that's what we're working with that's it i ain't got a fillet knife and we're also going to fillet it on the bed on the bed of my truck all right let's see what we got here oh yeah Then all you do is you go in and work down the spine. And I'm going in and I'm hitting the rib. I'm hitting the rib. Okay. Top of the ribs. And you get down right at the back of that fin right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I punch it all the way through. It's all not really long enough. But I'm trying. <laughs> and then you keep force down and you're running right on the spine. Don't judge me, people. And right here, I'm just going in. And f right off the, right off the ribs. Priscilla, this fillet's for you. <laughs> okay, now here's the trick that everybody should do. Instead of cutting the Y bones out, I do the zipper trick. Fold, fold it over. This is the mud strip. If you don't like the taste of fish, that's where all the taste of fish is. Cut on this side of it. Cut on this side of it. 
Now, just like a zipper, once I get it started. Yeah, I lied to you people. <laughs> it was the, the knife. There we go. There it goes. Perfect. I blame the knife. So now you have a piece of meat, one rib bone right there. Other than that, top part of your filet, totally good. And your bottom part of the filet, do the same thing. Cut on the opposite side of it. I can get a hold of it. Right there's the zipper. Boom. That's all, that's all you're wasting. Getting all the bones out and all the fishy flavor. Perfect. And you got two chunks of filet. Here we go. I call it freshwater scallops, is fresh what I call scallops. it. And then you come in here, cut it straight, just to the skin. Just peel it off with your finger. That one didn't come out perfect. The tastiest piece of the fish. Then repeat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Brady filleted up the first fish. I'm gonna take the other one home and try to fillet it myself. Huge thanks for filleting that. Huge thanks for coming out with me today. Thanks for having me. It was awesome. If you guys want to stick around, I'm gonna go home and cook this walleye up. Also wanted to give a quick shout out to Justin Robson. He's actually the guy that got Brady into muskie fishing. And, and he now was, he's in the Air Force. And now he's in the Air Force. Supposed to be fishing, you said, this month, right? But he had to go for... Yeah, he's going to come home for a little training. bit, but it ain't happening. He doesn't think yet, but I'll be ready when he does come home. There we go. So, again, huge thanks for coming out. You guys, I'm going to go home and cook this walleye up if you want to stick around for that. Let's go. All right. Just made it home. Going to play this second fish and cook some of this up. My girlfriend Priscilla just found a good looking recipe, which we're gonna try to do. So let's see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do quarter teaspoon garlic powder, quarter, teaspoon, quarter cup of all purpose flour, a pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, cup of crushed saltine crackers, I like the way that sounds, some vegetable oil, and that's about it. Oh, and one beaten egg. So we're gonna get to that. Okay, so you have a bowl with an egg, you have the flour, garlic powder, pepper in another bowl, and then the crushed up saltines in the third. So what you're gonna do is take your fillets, dip them in the flour, then the egg, roll them around the saltines, put them on a plate to the side. We're gonna heat up some oil and then get to that part. Oh, you also absolutely need the uh, apron. Ready? That's what we got so far. Filet chunks, got some potatoes cooking, and we're gonna eat. It's been a long day, it's 8.30, been up since 4 a.m. It's what? It's really good. I don't believe you. When was the last time I ate fish? Here we go, walleye. Mm. It ain't that bad. What's the verdict, babe? Delicious. Actually good? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to start catching more walleye? 100%, and we're gonna need to buy more Old Bay. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's musky hunt, and walleye catch and cook. Had a great time out there with my buddy, Brady. We hooked into a muskie, we had a couple other follows. I ended up catching a muskie, two walleye. It was a great day, but I am absolutely exhausted. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button for me. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment section below. If you wanna see some more catch and cooks from a dude who doesn't even eat fish. Until then, see you on the next one. Wait, wait, one more thing. I have to do the $100 Bass Pro Shops gift card giveaway. So we're gonna pick a comment using a random comment generator and I'm gonna let you know who the winner is. And if you do win, I need you to go back and comment on your last comment from yesterday's video and then send me an email to strikelbrothersfishing at gmail.com. But let's see who's gonna win. 907 comments. Who's it gonna be? Who is the lucky winner? 
Michael Walters, what the what? Michael Walters, make sure that you comment on that comment from yesterday's video and send me an email to strikelbrothersfishing at gmail.com and I'm going to send you that $100 Bass Pro gift card. That's it. See you guys. Peace.